Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, May 26, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And if you want early access to this video and also the commodities and precious metals videos, you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the ARK Innovation ETF. And as you can see, we have rallied a bit today and gave most of those gains back. So 20 exponential offered quite a lot of uh, resistance. And um, at this current stage, if we manage to break above and clear the middle of the bullish band, then we could go and race towards the top. And that's a fairly big gain, uh, roughly 11 points, 11% uh, to the upside. So roughly at the 150 moving average. But we have the 200 and the 50 that will uh, come into play here. But uh, at this current stage, we could roll over from here, head back to the 300 moving average, or we could go and test the 250 and probably 150. If you look at technical indicators, they do favor the upside at this current stage. MACD is bullish, RSI is bullish, CCI is bullish, and the stochastic is bullish as well. So let's look at DVI. So DVI really fell off a cliff today. We're down 1.38% at this current stage. Technical indicators are all looking very bearish. So we are, we have bro, uh, we have breached down 20 exponential moving average, and this is a really nasty looking candlestick. There's basically no pullback at the end of the session. So we could go and test the 40 exponential down here at 118, or the 50 down here at 117. We could also drop towards the bottom of the bullish band uh, before finding support, and that is right in between the 50 and the 40 exponential moving average. That's where we should see some kind of pullback if we were to fall at the, at, to those levels. So technical indicators are looking very bearish. All of them are pointing to lower levels or momentum is definitely to the downside. So let's look at uh, VTI. So VTI as well is down 0.28% and um, technical indicators for uh, for VTI are fairly mixed. So MACD is crossing the signal line at this current stage. Uh, RSI is flat, CCI is bullish and the stochastic is bullish as well. So we did fall and uh, we are just in between the middle of the bullish band and the top of the bullish band. So we're trading at the 216 and um, at this current stage we could drop towards uh, 20 exponential, that's a drop of roughly 0.70%, or the 40, which has offered a fair amount of support in the past, that's a drop of roughly 1.4% to the downside. And then we have the 50 right underneath, which usually is also support. To the upside, we'll most likely run into massive resistance right here, right at the 218, and then the highs here of roughly 219. So let's look at MCHI. So this gapped up, ran into massive resistance at the 50 moving average, and then gave most of those gains back. So up 2.412% above the middle of the bullish band. So that's a fairly good sign for, for this ETF. If you look at technical indicators, they are all turning around and becoming bullish at this point. So we could see this... Uh, pull back towards the middle of the bullish band before rallying to the upside. If we met, if we break below the 20 exponential again, then we'll head towards the, the 300 moving average. Otherwise, break above the 50 moving average, that opens the door to the 150, as give or take 2.27% to the upside, and the 100 moving average here. Breaking above the 100 moving average, and then we're talking about this going back to the previous highs, all the way up uh, to uh, 290. So let's look at IBV. So IBV did uh, pull back uh, down 0.22%. Uh, technical indicators they are also fairly mixed. MACD is uh, is still underneath the signal line. Looks like it's going to cross. The RSI is flat. CCI is bullish. The casting is bullish. And we're right here in the middle of nowhere in the bullish band. So if we rally from here, 424 will be uh, a massive resistant. And the 40 and the 20 at 416, 40, 100, 412, and the 50 down here at 410 should all offer uh, support. Break below the 50, opens the door all the way down to the 100. And that is a fall 
of give or take 5.24%. So, hope you found this helpful. You want to support your channel by, uh, by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and good luck and thank you very much.